YouTube has a noticeable love affair for fondue. And over the years, I contributed to the clickbait crusade. I made the classic Swiss fondue, chocolate fondue, and a third recipe I'm not allowed to bring up for safety reasons. And today, we are making caramel fondue. Now then, I'll be using the patented no fondue pot fondue method for making my caramel fondue. If you don't know what that is, basically I use an induction cooktop with a compatible pot. So how can you tell if your cookware is compatible? Well, grab a magnet, stick it to the bottom of your pot. If it sticks, it works. Or there is the alternative method, which is grab any pot, stick it on here, and just pray that the cooker does not have a conniptin fit. But I've used this pot with this cooker before. Let's continue. To the pot. Anyway, to our pot, let's add three quarters of a cup of cream. Then let's add two cans of dulce de leche. I made a video on how you can use a sous vide to turn cans of sweetened condensed milk into a dulce de leche. Or alternatively, you could take a can of sweetened condensed milk and boil it for three hours. It's gonna give you a super messy result, but it'll work. Anyway, enough padding. Let's add our cans of dulce de leche to our pot. All right, next, let's turn this on to medium high. And it's gonna take a while for the caramel to incorporate into the cream. Just be patient and you'll soon be rewarded. Okay, this is the consistency you want. Nice and runny, but not too thick. All right, once our caramel fully has dissolved into the cream, put this on keep warm, if you have a keep warm setting. And uh, if you don't have a keep warm setting, then just put it on its lowest setting. Okay, and uh, a few more ingredients. A teaspoon of vanilla. And finally, let's give it a nice garnish with a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, the things that go good with salted caramel creme brulee are Granny Smith apples, strawberries, and marshmallows. You know what? I need more fruit in my diet. I gotta eat healthy. And no, my beef with the Swiss still hasn't been resolved. And eh, geez, you people refuse to fight Nazis, but you'll pick a fight with me? It's just some beer and some cheese. What's the big deal? This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Don't mind me, I'm just eating my geopolitical frustrations away.